Thank you, AJ. Excited for the Blazers, excited for baseball, excited for all of it, and also excited for the 4th of July. We have a really nice forecast. Uh, you know, we usually you have some sunshine, maybe some warmer temperatures. I'll say it might be slightly cooler for tomorrow, but by the time we get into the evening hours, I think you're going to really enjoy the July 4th forecast. We still have that onshore flow, meaning that we're getting some cooler air and some moisture from the Pacific Ocean, which is going to lead to some morning clouds. And hopefully by the afternoon, we'll see that sunshine, as I mentioned, uh, definitely by the evening hours. And I do have rain back in the forecast. I haven't had to discuss that very much the last few days. And uh, we may actually see that by the time we get to about Tuesday. So for tomorrow, if you have some things planned, the morning hours about 60 degrees. You can see by noon at 65. Fewer clouds as we go into the afternoon by 4 p.m. Those temperatures likely in the lower to mid 70s. Break it through the clouds. And then we can break out the barbecue and we should have a really nice uh, second part of the day. You notice the cloud coverage still in place. Some moisture to the north, but really not much rain going on for us here in Oregon. And those locations there in southwest Washington, you know, maybe early tomorrow morning we might have some patchy fog along the Oregon coast and some mist. Other than that, I think we're going to stay pretty dry. All right, so tomorrow night we actually have a full moon falling on the 4th of July. How about that? 944 p.m. You'll be able to really see that. It's also going to be a lunar eclipse too, uh, meaning that the Earth's shadow will make the moon a little more dim. But all this is going on. It's the full buck moon or the full thunder moon. Had to go with the full thunder moon for that. All right, weather pattern here. We have that trough that's allowing for the colder air that we've been noticing here in the Pacific Northwest. I mean, our daytime high has been about 70 degrees the last few days. Uh, areas like in the Midwest and East Coast, 90s, feeling like July. So it's been really pleasant for us here in the Pacific Northwest. Another disturbance there midweek, which could lead to some rain. Eventually, though, we'll get some heat in here. It'll, it'll probably take a another week or so before we finally start to see that trend break. All right, future cast for our Friday night is dry. A few clouds by early tomorrow morning and in the afternoon, but they should be gone by the evening hours, making for again a nice finish to the day tomorrow. Sunday as well is looking really good. Yeah, not too much going on as far as the wind. And then eh, we start seeing signs of maybe a little bit of moisture as we go into Tuesday. All right, seven day forecast, 74 degrees on Monday, an isolated shower on Tuesday, 74 on Wednesday, and 75 degrees on Thursday. Should have a nice 4th of July with a little bit of rain by Tuesday. We'll be back after the break.